Built in 1928, standing 16 feet high and weighing 4,000 pounds each, the Plummer Building doors have been closed only for significant moments. It has to be something extremely important for us to do that. And ending racism uh, has reached the top of that list of things that it's very important for us to do. The last time the doors were closed was in honor of Sister Jenna Rose Gervais's death in 2016. Mayo Clinic Board of Governors member Dr. Eddie Green says being the number one hospital in the world, Mayo wants to contribute to ending racism as we know it. We are a leader in this effort to end racism, to eliminate health disparities, create health equity, and do the best we can for every patient that needs to be here. Now Mayo Clinic has also announced the investment of $100 million over the next 10 years to eliminate racism. Make sure that we do tangible things that can make a real difference in this regard. The plan includes strengthening pipeline programs for health care professionals, increasing diverse recruitment and retention of physicians, and addressing conscious and unconscious racism within the organization, to name just a few. As the doors open back up, marking a new era at Mayo Clinic and an opportunity to be a part of the solution. An opportunity to make sure that we do our part in helping to end racism as a part of medicine, part of health care, and in general is what is going to help us be a part of the solution. As to where that $100 million will go specifically, Dr. Green says the board is still working on that. Reporting live in the studio, Uba Ali, KTTC News.